Good evening students this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor and in today's session we are going to learn how to solve algebraic equation of degree 4 that means how to find its roots using the Descartes method this is going to be fun the problems that I have taken is from the book higher engineering mathematics by Dr. P. S. Greval this is chapter 1 exercise 4 and problem 6 this is a direct application okay so watch this video right till the end and I want all of you to spend the next 10 to 15 minutes watching this video with full concentration okay let me assure you if you watch this right till the end you'll have absolutely no doubts how this method can be applied okay here we go let me kick off by taking a look at this sir this happens to be a quadratic equation and we have been watching this number of times sir uh, in the previous techniques also that we've learned we've gone through the cardinals technique so there is a cardinals format we've gone through ferrari's technique so there is a ferrari's format or a ferrari's template similar is the case with rene descartes also he also has a specific format into which his methods can be applied in that method or in that format this x cube term seems to be missing now there could be two cases you may be given a problem where you can directly see that the x cube term is missing you can straight away apply the descartes method there may also be a case where you will observe that the x cube term exists and there you have to do some extra work you have to apply some transformation technique like diminishing of the roots concept okay you need to uh, convert that equation into an equation where the x cube term is missing once that is done you can straight away apply the descartes method okay so i'm assuming that the x cube term is missing from here you can straight away apply the technique what you need to do is you need to equate this given equation to the product of two quadratics please note the given equation is quartic and over to the rhs you've got two quadratics okay please note this is p p positive negative plus q plus q dash sir uh, why this partiality if you've given q and q dash over here you should give uh, p and p dash over here why are two equal quantities with negative signs over here and we see two different quantities there is a specific reason first of all let me elaborate on this now whenever we are dealing with a quartic equation you know very well there are going to be as many as four roots this quadratic equation is going to give you two roots this also is going to give you two roots basically the idea is to convert this quartic into the product of two quadratics okay let's say that this quartic equation is having four roots in the form of alpha beta gamma and delta and this quartic equation the uh, quadratic equation let's say this is having roots alpha and beta and this is having roots gamma and delta by the way you can pinch your screen and zoom in whenever you want no problem sir we know that here the x cube term is missing 0 x cube so by the way if i were to take the sum of the roots that means alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta all of these will be equal to coefficient of x cube divided by the coefficient of x to the power 4 okay obviously with a negative sign but that does not matter much it is going to be 0 so uh, i mean these are the four roots alpha beta product uh, i mean they are the roots of this quadratic one and these are the roots of quadratic 2 we know this alpha plus beta let us take this as minus p let us just assume this as minus p if i take alpha plus beta as plus p let's say if i assume that this is sum of the roots is p and here also sum of the roots is p then the sum of all the four roots p plus p would become 2p which is not the case you know very well that the sum of roots is equal to 0 and this brings us to the conclusion that one of the sum has to be negative so minus p and this has got to be a positive p so that minus p plus p would make the total sum as zero and that's why you know very well that it can also be written as x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots isn't it p r let me write it like this x square minus sum of the roots sir sum of the roots happens to be in minus p so minus p times of x plus product of the roots sir alpha and beta will have a product let's say q that is why you have this equation let me zoom in x square minus minus plus plus px plus q now you know okay secondly uh, one more thing which i want all of you to observe is we can also 
take a look at this x square minus sir the sum is plus p so this is going to be plus p into x plus product product could be different these are two different roots so their products will be let's say q dash okay that's why here it is q here it is q dash again if you watch carefully i can just zoom into this okay x square minus px done plus q dash plus q dash so please take a screenshot of this keep it <laughs> handy so that you can use it whenever you want to done screenshot taken let me erase it and if you expand if you multiply these two uh, quadratics you will have a simplified expression of this sort why i did this color coding because at a certain point of time i need to compare the coefficients green with green that means the coefficient of x square you also have to compare the coefficients of x okay they are in the blue color and the ones in orange are the constants so all of this is something that uh, i will demonstrate in very very detail to all of you so sit back relax next 10 minutes and we'll be through right here we go problem number one it's the direct application observe this observe this okay sir please check whether x cube term exists or not no sir it does not exist so this essentially means you can straight away apply the Descartes method no problem it is missing straight away apply it if it is there then you need to apply some transformation technique so you don't have to worry about it now sir the first thing to do is to equate it to the product of two quadratics like this done x square plus bx plus q and x square minus bx plus q dash wonderful okay now what uh sir we just need to focus on this portion this rhs portion focus multiply this x square with all the three terms then this px with all the three terms and then with this plus q with all the three terms so basically we are expanding there are going to be as many as nine terms here we go x square with x square you know this basic algebra school level algebra okay the same has to be done with second bracket and with the third bracket as well so this is what you'll get done sir nine terms okay <clears throat> sir but we can see an x cube term you said that we are converting our equation into uh, an equation where the x cube term is missing we can see that there is an x cube term well this has appeared for a moment and it will disappear the reason being this negative px cube cancels with positive px cube so x cube is out of the picture don't worry okay don't worry about that let me erase it secondly if you watch this x squares coefficient is positive q yes sir it is negative p square yes sir what else it is positive q also sir so what we can do is q dash plus q minus p square is the coefficient of x square we can write it like this q dash plus q minus p square isn't it and similarly you can have the coefficients of uh, uh, x written down and this is no x term the constant basically right half of the work is done now you need to compare the coefficients and this is going to be fun watch let me have the original equation okay so you need to compare the green with the green that means we are comparing the coefficient of x square when you do that q dash minus p square plus q is equal to zero okay take p square negative p square to the rhs this becomes your equation number one and done sir back to our main master equation now we are going to compare the blues that means coefficient of x what we have is pq dash minus pq barabar equal to 12 okay Anyways, this video is in Hindi, right? In B-Tech Plus, my channel is in the description of the link in the description. You will get all the videos in the description. So now you can take P as common. Q dash minus Q will remain is equal to 12. Take P to the RHS. In the denominator, Q dash minus Q is equal to 12 over P. That becomes your equation number 2. And now, let's compare the constants. Wonderful. Q, Q dash is equal to negative 5. And this becomes our 
equation number three. So we have as many as three equations. What are the unknowns? The unknowns are Q dash, Q, and P. So three equations, three unknowns. We can solve it. First of all, what you can do is you can square equation one. You can square equation two, and you can subtract equation two from equation one. But square first. Q plus Q dash, Q dash plus Q whole square minus Q dash minus Q whole square. And take a look at the RHS P square and its square. Then 12 square by P square with a negative sign. Done. Now what sir? Now we need to focus. Let's say this is A. Sir, that's B. Done. We are comfortable with A and B. That is why I am writing it like this. This is A minus B. Q dash is A. Q is B. Can you simplify this? Yes, sir. Sir, this is going to be A square plus B square plus 2 times of AB. Let me put a negative sign. Let me put a bracket. This is going to be A square plus B square minus 2AB. Sir, if you watch, if I can just open the bracket, what will happen? This negative A square and this positive will become negative. And so this negative will automatically become positive. So what we basically have are these terms. A square, A square will cancel each other out. B square, B square will cancel. So 2AB and 2AB will make it equal to 4AB. And you initially assume that A is Q or Q dash, let's say, and B happens to be Q. So we are only left with 4Q, Q dash or Q dash Q, whatever it is. Take a screenshot. Keep it handy. Here it is. LHS 4Q, Q dash. P power 4 minus 144 over p square sir one more thing to notice that's q q dash it is already known to us sir q q dash is minus 5 so you can plug in this value minus 5 over here 4 and 5 will make it 20 negative 20 and sir better to multiply both the sides by p square in that case what will happen is uh, th this fraction is going to be out of the picture okay i mean our equation is going to become much more simpler so multiply both the sides by p square and uh, on simplifying 4 plus 2 is 6 and uh, let's have these two are going to cancel each other out minus 20 p square is equal to p power 6 minus 144 wonderful get this to the rhs okay so that is now your equation which we need to solve how to solve an equation of degree 6 this is tough better to equate p square to t let us say that p square is equal to t and i have written this p power 6 in this form p square to the power 3 so p square is equal to t t cube secondly p square is equal to t 20 t done now comes the very important junction of the problem solving here you have to straight away plug in the values into a calculator solve this cubic equation you are going to get the value of t as 4 and these are two complex roots you can straight away use the calculator here our main objective is to demonstrate the Descartes method okay by the way you can also use the Cardan method to solve this cubic equation don't do that it will unnecessarily make the problem bit too long okay I mean uh, 10 more minutes if you apply the Cardan technique it is going to take 10 more minutes don't do that use a calculator and straight away write that these are the values of t and select this value of t that is 4 why the reason being very simple it is a perfect square why are we choosing a perfect square sir because t actually is nothing but p square that is the reason if your teacher does not like this technique if your teacher does not want you to use the calculator then what you can do is you can straight away write that sir by inspection i have found you can calculate these values and note down those values in rough wherever you want to you straight away write that i have found by inspection that when you keep t is equal to 4 this actually is equal to 0 that is t is equal to 4 is a root okay the remaining two roots can be found by synthetic division i mean using synthetic division you can make a quadratic you can solve that quadratic to find these roots which have absolutely no value once you've got this perfect square you can go ahead so p square is equal to 4 p is equal to plus minus 2 choose the positive value because negative value will get you into trouble done sir done sir no problem now what you've got the value of p Let's go back to the three very important equations in P, Q and Q dash. Here they are. P is equal to positive 2. Put this value over here. 2 square. Put this value over here. 12 by 2. 
फोर एंड सिक्स डन दीज आर न्यू इक्वेशन फोर एंड फाइव एड बोथ द इक्वेशन फोर एंड फाइव क्यू एंड क्यू विल कैंसल इच अदर आउट टू क्यू डैश इज इक्वल टू टेन क्यू डैश इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड अदर अपडेट्स क्यू डैश इज इक्वल टू फाइव वंडरफुल वन मोर थिंग रिमेन्स वॉट रिमेन्स इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू सर क्यू क्यू डैश इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव फाइव लेट्स प्लग इन द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू डैश एज फाइव ओवर किया सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव वन ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑप्टेन सर नाउ इट्स टाइम टू एंजॉय एंड हैव सम फन ओके सो वॉट विल डू इज विल प्लग इन द वैल्यू ऑफ पी विल पी शो दिस टू यू ओके विल प्लग इन द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एज टू एंड देन क्यू हैपन्स टू बी नेगेटिव वन एंड क्यू डैश हैपन्स टू बी पॉजिटिव फाइव सो दिस इक्वेशन इज गोइंग टू गिव यू टू रूट्स दिस इक्वेशन अगेन इज गोइंग टू गिव यू टू रूट्स टू एंड टू मेक फोर एंड फोर रूट्स ऑफ दिस क्वाटिक इक्वेशन यू विल सी राइट लेट मी प्लग इन ऑल ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज दिस इज वॉट यू गेट स्ट्रेट अवे यूज द श्रीधराचार्य फॉर्मुला एंड बाई दी वे ए इज वन बी इज टू एंड सी इज माइनस वन हियर कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इज वन कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस टू एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ नॉट कोफिशियंट बट सी हैपन्स टू बी पॉजिटिव फाइव ओके वंडरफुल जस्ट फोकस यू जस्ट नीड टू प्लग इन दीज वैल्यूज बी इज टू can see you need to plug in 2 then a and c so when you plug in all of these values this is what you have take a look at this 4 minus minus plus 4 plus 4 is 8 so inside the root you have 8 similarly over here this is 2 square is 4 4 5 is 20 4 minus 20 is minus 16 inside the root plus 8 inside the root minus 16 plus 8 minus 16 sir 8 can also be written as Eight basically is nothing but uh, uh, two into two into two, so you can say that it is two root. Similarly, under root of minus sixteen can be written as under root of uh, minus one into sixteen. That essentially means sixteen. Uh, that means four under root of minus one. That means four iota. You can write it as four iota. This can also be written as uh, two root two. This is four iota. Let me do it. Here we go. Okay. This has become very simple now. Minus one divide by two. Minus one plus minus root two, and so here it will become one plus minus two iota. Let me do the math, and these are the four roots. One plus root two, one uh, minus one plus root two, minus one minus root two. Okay, then there is a conjugate pair, complex pair. One plus two iota, one minus two iota. So these. Happen to be the four roots of this algebraic equation of degree four that we've solved using the Descartes method. Once again, please note here in this problem the x cube term is missing. So we have straight away applied the method. If you happen to come across a problem where the x cube term exists, then in that case you need to apply. the diminishing of the roots concept you need to apply a transformation okay and then apply the descartes method right so uh, these were all the things that i wanted to convey in this lecture i hope you found this lecture to be very informative okay and uh, i'm sure taking or uh, learning from this method will help you solve many more problems based on descartes method okay if you if you find this content helpful then do like the video and share this content this channel with all your friends and classmates so that they can also benefit okay please do it it is going to help me immensely to grow as a channel also subscribe to the manas patnaik channel and press the bell icon so that you always stay notified whenever i upload my content thank you very very much this is manas patnaik signing off Take care and have a nice day.